In this problem, we have to do two things. First, we have to find the values of x for which the series converges. Then, we have to write the function, uh, the series, as a function of x. So to do the first part, to find out the values of x for which the series converges, notice that this is geometric and your r is equal to 3x. So we know that this will converge if the absolute value of 3x is less than 1. Otherwise, it's going to diverge, right? If you have the absolute value of x greater than or equal to 1, it's going to diverge. So the only values of x for which the series converges are the values of x that satisfy this inequality. To solve this, you drop the absolute value, and this is 3x less than 1, greater than negative 1. Then you divide everything by 3, and that's it. The values of x for which the series converges are these values here. You could write your answer in interval notation if you wanted to. It would be negative 1 third to 1 third, and that's the answer. To find out what the function of x is in this case, you just use the formula. So the formula we're going to use is a little bit different than what's found in textbooks. All you have to do when you have a geometric series, if you want to find the sum, is take this, assuming it converges, and it does, and you put it where the n is, and that goes up top always. So it's 3x to the 1, always. So if there's a 2 here, you just put a 2 here, always works. Then on the bottom, you just divide by 1 minus r. So 1 minus r, which is 3x. So the answer ends up being f of x equals 3x over 1 minus 3x. So this, this series is actually equal to this function on this interval. That's what's going on here. It's pretty, pretty cool. That's it.